In 2023, launching your token is easier than ever thanks to DevBox. If you're ready to launch a new project all in one no code token creation suite, this is the place to be. Now we're gonna follow these steps right here that says part one all the way down to the end. So you definitely wanna pay attention to this. My name is Adam Shelton, the captain. Let's go ahead and break this down. So the first thing is part one, creation, connect wallet, plus click new token contract, okay? So at the top right here, it does have my contract already connected. If you don't, you can just click there and connect your contract, okay? And then the next thing is new token smart contract. Now it takes us to token identity. So make sure you have the information that you want to have of contract name, token name, and symbol. Since this is a test, we're just gonna use test, okay? Testing as the token name, and then the symbol will just be TE. If I bring back my example back over here, bring it up here, it shows it right there. You can see it in the actual information box that you see. Okay, so the next thing is continuing to step number two, general tokenomics, okay. So we're gonna start at the top, max transaction amount. We'll just say the max transaction amount, we'll say two, which it says recommended two. Max wallet amount, they recommend number two. I like the fact that they have recommendations in there just in case you're not sure and you just definitely just want to have some feedback. Swap thresholds, when I click on the back button, it does give me an example of what to use. So I'm gonna use five there and the initial to blacklist. Let's see what they say. They say one blocks, okay? So then when I go over to step number two in the example here, that's where we at right now, general tokenomics. Okay, the next thing is continue to step number three. Now this is the tax setting right here. So you definitely want to make sure you're doing this very correctly. Oh, correctly. Okay, marketing fees, they say 3%, okay? You can have 2%, 1% if you like, depending on what your plan is. Development fee, we can use example of number two. And liquidity fee, it says example number one. Now fee receiver, we do need to go ahead and get our contract addresses for this. We're just going to use just an example over here to our max, to our MetaMask wallet. So we're just going to accept, okay? I'm gonna bring back our MetaMask wallet as we do that, okay? We're just gonna get the contract address since this is as an example, but you wanna make sure you have the right, correct fee receivers from your project. So we're just gonna put the same one in here for an example, just an example. Okay, and then we're gonna click on continue to step number three. Now, right here, make sure everything is correctly. If it's not here, you can always go back and make any changes. That is so important here. Step number four is so important, which is review and deploy. Token name, contract name, token symbol, all that jazz. You definitely wanna make sure. And if I bring this back here, that's exactly where we are right now, review the token review. Okay, as we continue, step number five, this is connecting our wallet, and then very soon, pay a fee and deploy. So I'm gonna show you how you do that. So right there, connect the wallet, and um, I continue. Since I don't have enough Ethereum, which it just said this, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. Now, you have to choose a deploy option, either pay the e fee, if you have e fee in box, you're good to go or pay a 1% tax fee to that box. So you definitely have options of what to do here. So, and it takes us to right here. It's okay, so I was trying to make something happen over here. So the next thing is deploy. So since I don't have the fee here, I am going to bring back, if I can bring this back. So let's see if I can bring this back, all right. And it's gonna basically be at the point right here. Okay, so this point right here is where we left off. So pay fees plus deploy. So choose an option, deploy, free to use. So I'll hit this play button here. And the next thing is once that's done, I will be, I'm um, going back over just a 
benefits. Okay, pay one of those. So if you pay that, that's good. And then token deploy successful. It gives the contract address and then manage the token. The next thing here is the management part here. So you go to manage launches and all the information is very self-explanatory. Manage function, lock and burn that you see, verify and renounce. Very simple and very, very easy. All these are being examples and you see that's in the black there. They give you an example exactly with the fees that, you know, an example that you can technically use. So that's part number two in management. Step one, now you have to verify the contract. Click the verification, simply click verify. So you just verify the information right there. Next one right here is here, verify the contract. You see the contract? Verify on the ether scheme, all right? And then step number two, you just add liquidity. Type an amount, just follow the steps here. If you're not really sure, it does give you some examples in the black box if you're not completely sure, but if you're not, just think about it before you go ahead and put all this in here. You're literally just adding liquidity. That's right here that you see there, okay? Add liquidity steps. The next steps here is that you enable trading. So that means you are enabling the trading process, confirming TX, and then you'll wait. So you just enable trading, and then lock slash burn liquidity. You'll select the length, paste the LP pair addresses, confirm TX and lock, and then it's option to burn liquidity, etc. All right. And then the next part there is step number five. And you probably already know this already. This is the remove limits and renounce. This is the last part here. Click remove limits, confirm. And then you are live. Your token is live. There's other optional that you need to follow, but you can extend your lock, update the max wallet, disable transfer delay, and much, much more here. And I like the fact you can blacklist. This is simple and easy and they even have a mobile version of where you can follow the steps here you'll see that in a few minutes but i like the fact that this is good for people who who don't have the experience with coding and uh it's really simple and really very easy to go ahead and use so that's where we are right now deploy dev box check it out i would check it out if you do not have any experience or don't have enough time to do this all in one no code token creation suite new token smart contract ready to launch so click on the link below, learn about it, join the Telegram group, and get started for launching today. My name is Adam Shelton, the captain, and I'll see you on the next video.